Hi, I'm Chuck Woolery. Welcome to the Love Connection. <laughs> it is going to be tough to go back to my show at the ground round after all this. <laughs> Glad to be here. I almost didn't get here tonight. Got stopped by the cops, state police. One cop, but he was eating for two. Pretty sure of that. <laughs> Big guy had one of those bodies, looks like the cheeks of your ass are sneaking up on your shoulder blades. <laughs> Ten more pounds, they would have shot him for the tusks. No shit. <laughs> Always the same question. Do you know why I stopped you? <laughs> no, can I buy a vowel? <laughs> I drive too fast, I get stopped all the time. Speeding tickets. What's the, what's the worst state to drive through for speeding tickets? What do you think? Connecticut, absolutely. Ghost cops are like fucking ninjas dropping out of the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I didn't know they could have blowguns. Fuck. They should have it on the sign. Welcome to Connecticut. You're under arrest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spoiled. I grew up in Boston. Boston cops, Boston cops, great guys. Great attitude. <laughs> they don't want to get involved. <laughs> They don't. They pull up. We're loading a body out of the trunk of the car. Hey, pal, meep, meep, get that out of here, will you? <laughs> Help us out. We go on break in five minutes. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> Take that down the beach. Let the MDC cops deal with that. <laughs> That's how old that fucking joke is, folks. You don't want to get in trouble with the law. I had to go to court recently. I got called for jury duty. I didn't want to do it. Oh, God. I tried to get out of it. I told them I had a serious drinking problem. <laughs> they offered to make me a judge. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can't drink anymore. I had my last drink on May 4th, 1986. Yeah. I haven't finished it yet. It's uh, <laughs> back at the house in a huge fucking glass. <laughs> My last one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can't drink. Never been to detox, but they did send me a written estimate. Pretty sure that. <laughs> Some people that drink too much grew up in a dysfunctional home. I grew up in a dysfunctional town. <laughs> We used to have Alcoholics Unanimous meetings. <laughs> My name's George, I'm an alcoholic. No shit, sit down, it's your round. <laughs> I think drinking with me was genetic, pretty sure it was genetic. My father was Irish, my mother was Apache Indian. <laughs> half Irish, half Apache, which means I drink a lot and then I attack myself. <laughs> It's a full weekend, let me tell you. <laughs> I just like the scotch, that's what I drank, the J&B scotch. J&B, so smooth it whispers. <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> I've heard it plenty of times. <laughs> Wake up, George, you're doing 70 miles an hour in a rest area. <laughs> Don't take shit from him just because he's a policeman. <laughs> And they lie about the scotch. You drink scotch, you will never get a hangover. You drink scotch, you will never get a hangover. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. <laughs> drink a bottle of scotch, not a hangover, more like a religious experience. <laughs> Next day, you're picking up signals from Jupiter. <laughs> oh, shoot me, please. <laughs> Peanut butter all over the kitchen table. <laughs> Gerbils are in the fish tank. Oh, no big deal. Throw in the clock radio. Bring it back to life. <laughs> A lot of fun for everybody except the gerbils, I guess. Come home drunk, gerbils on the wheel. Oh, no. <laughs> He's been drinking! I hate this! Why can't this guy find a hobby? <laughs> 
Ever drink too much and have to go to work the next day? <laughs> no, not this crowd. <laughs> we came straight from the library to the show. <laughs> drink too much and have to go to work the next day. Ever notice how much time you used to save getting ready for work that day? <laughs> well, my hair is combed. <laughs> Hey, I have all my clothes on. <laughs> I guess I can skip that shower now. <laughs> what happened to the dribbles? <laughs> <laughs> and to get to work, you feel pretty hip, pretty smooth. You are still pretty shit-faced. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Look, the boss. Whee! Let's discuss my race, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good time to negotiate that new contract. <laughs> I always had trouble when I was... I always found that guy wearing the alcoholic wristwatch when I was drinking. You know that guy, the alcoholic wristwatch? <laughs> hey, what time is it? <laughs> Still early. <laughs> I have to get to my job at Amtrak. <laughs> Yeah, I can't drink, can't drink, yeah. I gotta go to a wedding in a couple of months, actually. Big Irish wedding it'll be, and, uh, which of course means open bar one hour before the fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of drinking at weddings. And I have to pick out a wedding gift. What's a good wedding gift? What do you give? I don't know what to get. Wedding gifts, anybody? Money. Money, Money yeah. A gerbil. <laughs> Guys, got a better joke for it than I have, actually, folks. Money, that's how I'm going to give my friends money, uh, a check, <laughs> which will bounce. <laughs> but I think it's the thought that counts. <laughs> if I had money, this is how much it would give you. <laughs> oh, what the hell, make it a thousand. <laughs> no, don't thank me. <laughs> you just try cashing that fucker. See you in court. <laughs> Marriage. Why do guys get married? Anybody know? No. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's a mystery. <laughs> Truly. Guys have such a bad attitude about marriage. Guys aren't out there reading Bride magazine. You know? There is no groom magazine. Why do guys get married? <laughs> I have a theory. <laughs> I think guys get married because they want someone to stay home and keep an eye on their stuff. <laughs> Honey, watch my stereo. I'm gonna go meet some chicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guys are laughing, but the women are thinking, yeah, and after that divorce, they don't have a lot of stuff that needs watching now, do they? <laughs> we keep all that. <laughs> Only fair. <sighs> well, if you're happily married, I envy you. Do we have any happily married folks? Yeah. Four people out of 500, that's about right. <laughs> That's probably the national average right there. <laughs> yeah. It's always a sad moment when the married couple looks at each other. Are we happy? What the fuck? Yeah. We raise our hands on this one? How's this going to work? <laughs> well, if you're happily married, I envy you. Newlyweds, best of luck. And if you're single, uh, <laughs> practice safe sex. What can I tell you, folks? That's all you hear nowadays, right? Safe sex, safe sex. Remember when safe sex meant you actually saw her husband get on the plane? <laughs> that laugh is great. Yeah, you gotta use those condoms. You gotta use those condoms. But let's face it, I don't care what anybody tells you. Sex with condoms is not as much fun. Use them, be careful. It's just... Not as much. Sex with condoms is like flying all the way to Las Vegas to play blackjack for stuffed animals. <laughs> You're still in the game, but it ain't quite the same. <laughs> Big controversy about giving out condoms in schools. Perhaps school is the wrong place. Who knows? I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. I think if you're old enough to have sex, you should have access to condoms. That only makes sense. People still get upset. If these kids have condoms, they're going to have sex. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I think we all know just having condoms doesn't guarantee. 